Hi guys, Scotty here. September 1st, today, uh, yesterday, one of my hives issued a gorgeous swarm, settled over on that greenhouse back there that's caving in, and uh, I set up one setup, this one here, on a gaffle buggy, and actually I got a, quite a few bees to march in, then I actually saw a queen, and I caught her, caged her, and she's actually in this box. Um, after a little while, I couldn't get the rest of the bees to march in, and I spotted a second queen running around, but before I managed to catch her, she went airborne and actually worked out quite nice. About half the bees went in here, and the other half took off out to the back, settled in a tree, uh, ended up climbing up that tree, cutting a branch, and I shook them in a box down the far end. Uh, I'll put a link down below for that video. Um, this morning I went into the colony that issued that swarm, and I found, what I ended up finding, I found uh, two virgin queens running around, I found one dead virgin queen, I found a bunch of frames with gorgeous big, beautiful cells. There was a couple frames that had small cells. I did away with the small cells. In the end, I ended up splitting that seven ways. Kind of late in the year. We're going to find out if that's going to work. But I'll also put a link for that video. I think I'll post those two videos first. This one here, this isn't a huge job. I got one. This is a, a conventional type floor for a standard colony. I do like it better when I'm trying to scoop and get bees to go in because it's the big entrance. But I do want to switch it. I do want to switch it to one of my standard floors. And I see I've got a door on there. All right, I see I still got a door there, so I'm gonna get rid of that, or not a door, just a, a block of wood there. Get that out of the way. So yeah, I wanna switch this over to one of my standard floors. So all I'm gonna do is get rid of the, the vent. I just did throw a feeder jar in here last night. I will, of course, give that back to them in a few minutes. That there, then what I'm gonna do I got the ventilation button, another ventilation box. Uh, I'm just going to take this colony and move it here. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to set this floor up in its location. I'm sure some of them have already oriented. Now I got the box. Actually, I took number two colony all apart, and this is from over there. I don't know if that's going to create any confusion or not. Now I do have some nicer frames. In here, I've got about five. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this one here is just, you know, drawn foundation, whatnot. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was in a hurry yesterday, and all the excitement of that swarm, and I do think some of the frames in there maybe aren't the nicest. So these these four or five I have here are definitely better looking frames. So I'll get my glasses, my hive tool. I think that queen is somewhere around the center, if I remember right. Now, I did put some tape on here too, because I didn't want them to be using that upper entrance. That's fine. Uh, smoker. A little bit of smoke there. Let's see if I can get this inner cover off. Good number of bees. That's nice. I did scoop, I did scoop an awful pile of bees in here yesterday. I'm going to sit that in the front. So if they want to run in, they can. Get this out of my way. All right. So, like I say, some of these frames, some of these frames were okay, I guess, but some of them, okay, I see my elastic band, so I know where the queen is. This is actually a decent looking frame. This one here, this one here is actually just foundation. I should have another box. One second. It's actually only a handful of bees on that. I'm just going to put that in that box. This next one here, this is probably one of the ones I was thinking about. Um, it was drawn. You can see mice or something or other have been at it. I am just scanning this. I can't believe how many virgin queens that I did see running around, so <laughs> I am certainly having a look here. I'm just going to shake these bees inside and get rid of that frame. Now these next, what do we have here? Two, four. These next six frames look like they're fairly covered with bees. I'm probably going to tramp this one here. Unbelievable how fast this frame was drawn. It's, uh, 
all kinds of shiny honey, nectar, whatever. The feeder jar is on there, but the feeder jar is only down a couple inches. So this is this is clearly material they brought with them. All right, that one's going to go in the box. This frame too, it's actually got some fairly decent weight and uh, I can see all kinds of shiny. Now this next frame here is actually a really nice clean frame. I'm going to put it there and actually I think, no not that one, this other one. This other one is also really nice. I'm going to try and get a couple frames, real nice ones. in the center so when I release that queen whether she's made it now or in the very very near future she'll have a place to lay good number of bees I didn't turn the close-up camera on guys really I uh, got a lot of other work I gotta get done today I got a few buddies coming tomorrow and we're hoping to take that greenhouse back there down and get it moved if it doesn't rain but at the moment, it is clouding over. So I just need to get this done. I didn't want to leave that cage queen for too, that queen caged for too long. They've got all kinds of nectar, unripe honey, whatever you want to call it, in this frame as well. The frame is completely covered with bees, so there's a decent number here. I'm going to put this one to the front. So that's, oops, it's in the number two position. Okay, now this is the one that has the queen on it, and I am going to let her go. Not quite yet. They are covering it. I don't know if you can see that elastic band. The queen, queen catcher is underneath that. few drones running around in here. All right, so now I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, and they're already chewing that elastic. Um, I mentioned uh, the video yesterday. I always watch JP the Me Man, and he always talks about how they chew the elastics up. Very interesting. They, they've got it half chewed off already. I'm just going to gently set this down for a second try not to give I give, give the bees a second to get out of the way and then I'm going to try and retrieve my queen catcher from them <laughs> oh boy it's full hmm. not sure how I'm going to do this I would like to get a look at her but I don't think I'm going to be able to oh yeah hmm. I need my bee broom Okay, I see her. I just wanted to make sure she was fine, and I see her running around. Uh, no, I'm not actually going to release her yet. I'm going to sit her back there in the shade. That way, I can finish putting these frames in without, without worrying about her so much. Okay. Elastic broke. I'm going to scan this just one more time. Oh, get some propolis on this one too. Let's let's clean that up. Yeah. This next one. They've already put a bunch of nectar in this one as well. I may not be putting as many new frames in here as I thought, guys. Okay, I'm going to drop that one in the center. 
This one I have at the back, actually. I'm not crazy about it. I'm going to get it out of there. Shake the bees off. Because this next one... that one down in there okay 10 frames in here I might change this one this one here missing some foundation this one here is nicer looking fully drawn anyway all right Push these all forward, pull those back. All right, <laughs> completely, completely covering this. All right, let's see if we can get the girl out of there and let her loose. Okay, I see her. Yeah, virgin for sure. There she goes. She's on the top bar and she is gone. All right, now I wanna take I guess I'm going to use this inner cover. Didn't really want to give them an upper entrance. I'm going to make some more inner covers this winter with no, no upper entrance. I've decided I don't. Now I've got a few there. I just give them a quick flick. I don't want to squish them. Now, then, let's get the feeder jar back on them. Let's get this vent box back on them. The roof on. Which roof do I want? I want this one. One's got painted. All right. Get out of there, you. <laughs> She's inside. Okay, a few bees back here. Shake that off. I got a handful of bees milling around there. I got uh, some bees here where I had set down that that uh, queen catcher. Okay, there's still some bees in there. They'll be fine. They'll they'll be out of there in no time. That was a quite an easy little job. Um, I'll keep an eye on these. So now I got to put a white pin on here too because it's virgin queen. I'll put a sticky note on the fridge. So today's September 1st. This one's got a virgin queen. The one that I took down out of the tree, I have to assume it has a virgin queen. When I was trying to get them into this box, I saw one and she went airborne. I have to assume there's one there. I split colony number two up, like I say, just a few hours ago. I found two more virgin queens. They're in a nuke. And then I ended up making five more for a total of seven with some great, big, beautiful peanuts. And as I said in that video, almost certainly too late in the year to be making nukes, but they chose to swarm and they knew they had to get a virgin mated. So I'm kind of going to go with their judgment. We'll see what happens. I'll keep track. Um, I'm just hoping I don't get any more swarms. I'm running out of nuke boxes. <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, I think that's, that's just going to be a short little video. I do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll go around, check, see how many of these I do end up with mated queens, or if I end up with any at all. I'll let you know. So, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. You be good to your bees. I'm sure we'll be good to you. Talk to you soon.